Hey folks, thanks for clicking on the video. Uh, I just want to show you something today. Uh, this is the Fire Maple Blade 2 and it's an ultralight titanium stove. It's a remote stove so the gas canister is separate from the stove, it doesn't sit on top. Now, there's pros and cons to these in my view. Pros being obviously this will sit low to the ground, your gas canister is separate which makes it more stable in the windy conditions that makes cooking in a small tent vestibule a lot easier but the cons being you know because there's more material they're obviously a little bit bigger you know I got a pocket rocket too which is a tiny little thing that's a great little stove but it sits up on top of the gas bottle so if you're somewhere you know a little bit unstable a little bit windy then your gas canister's sitting there your stove's sitting on top and then your pot sitting on top of that. So if you're in a tent and the wind's blowing and the you know, vestibule of your tent is flapping a bit, it can be a little bit dangerous. Again, you know, if the ground's a bit uneven, you know, they can be a bit wobbly. But obviously, you know, they're a lot smaller. So this, I think, is a good compromise because this is ultra lightweight. It's uh, 135 grams. This is made of um, titanium and aluminium alloy. I've had this six months now and uh, I've used it a few times and uh, yeah, I've got to get a bit of a soft spot for it. It's not a bad stove at all. I've recently been to Wales and I took this and uh, it did really well in the, in the windy mountains. And size wise, you know, while the, the sit on top stoves are always going to be smaller, that is reasonably small. It packs up nicely so these top bits open out for your pots to go on. The legs just open out a nice wide base uh, so it's nice and stable these arms that fold out you know they're of a decent size so you can get a good size pot on here as well as you know a small one person pot which is what I generally use it for so we'll set this up and we'll get some water boiling I might set a timer just to see how quick it is but speed is not this thing's uh, main objective you know I think I think as a lightweight stove that's nice and safe you know it can afford to be a little bit slower but we'll set a timer, see how long it takes to boil, you know, a cup of tea's worth of water because I genuinely don't know. When I use this, I, I tend to have the gas turned down because it's then very quiet, which is nice in a tent, you know, a nice little subtle burn. My pocket rocket is literally like a rocket taking off next to me when I use that. So uh, it depends what you want. So let's have a closer look. Um, as I say, the bottom legs fold out. The pot stand folds out. You screw your gas canister on the end. Plonk him down. And then the control for the gas is on the bottle, away from the stove itself. Gives you real control, you know, you can turn it really low. I'll fill that. So that's about 200 ml of water in there, just over. I'm going to whack this up. Go full power. Start the timer. I've got no windshield on this today, um, but I'm in my garden, it's not exactly windy. We'll see how long that takes to boil. I'll speed you up. So that was two minutes 40. Yeah, two minutes 40 to uh, boil a cup of tea, which is, you know, it's okay. It's not mega fast, but it's not slow by any stretch. So uh, yeah, it's a decent thing. And because this is titanium, it cools down pretty quick. So I made that tea a minute ago and the stove's already cold and ready to put away. So another good thing about this stove is it uh, 
excels in the cold weather. So because the uh, gas canister is remote, what it means is, you know, in cold weather, these gas canisters, they do suffer a bit. So you can invert your gas canister and, uh, you know, give it a bit of help. Whereas the sit on top ones, you know, you're sort of stuck with it where it is. But also this is a uh, gas preheating tube. So this sits over the flame and this gets warm and obviously the heat travels down this and into where the gas is coming from. So during very cold conditions, you know, when your gas is really suffering, it's coming out the bottle and it's passing through this little warm area. It's less spluttery and less likely to just go out on you because uh, the gas is being pre-warmed before it gets to the stove. So, you know, they've, they've thought about this and I think they've made a decent stove. It's not perfect, but you know, nothing ever is. Storage wise, it goes into this mesh bag and you know, while these mesh bags are okay, I would rather have a hard case for the stove so that it doesn't get damaged in my pack. Uh, these mesh bags, you know, they can be a little fiddly to get things in and out of because they get stuck in the little mesh. Uh, there's no built-in igniter on this stove. Uh, you know, you get the sort of piezo push-button thing that lights some stoves. You'd have thought that something of this quality would have one built in, um, but there isn't one. So you've got to use a lighter or, a, or some separate means of igniting it, which is not the end of the world. And to be honest, some of those built-in igniters, they do tend to malfunction after a few months. I'm not overly fussed. I usually carry a lighter, ferro rod, something like that. So it doesn't bother me. Some people, maybe it's an issue. And obviously pack size, you know, is against it. It is a bit bigger than my pocket rocket, but there's so much going for it that I think I can excuse those things. Yeah, I like it. I say, I've had it for six months. I've used it in the woods, I've used it up in the mountains and uh, it hasn't let me down and it's been decent and I trust it in, uh, you know, in bad weather in a small confined tent, uh, I would be perfectly happy cooking on it. So at the moment on Amazon I think they're £55, which I suppose is a bit pricey compared with some of the cheaper stoves, but I've had cheaper stoves that have been absolute dog shit. So £55 for a decent stove that's light, that's reliable, that can cope with cold weather, it's very safe and stable. I think £55 is probably about fair. I will link it in the description, I'll put an affiliate link in there. If you want to get one, use my link and then I might make 5p on it. But anyway, thank you for watching the video and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.